Hey, hey, it's Allison Denise, author and strategist for women in ministry. And I am here to tell you that you do not have writer's block. I'm going to tell you what you actually have instead. Let's get into it. If you're anything like me, you probably have like 50, 11 book ideas in your mind to write. God has inspired you in so many different ways, giving you so many visions of books to write. I get it. But for whatever reason, you tend to start and stop, start and stop, maybe not even start because of different things. And you're like, I don't know what to write. I have writer's block. That's not true. You don't have writer's block. Sometimes writer's block is an actual thing and there's lots of things you can do to get out of that. But a lot of times it's not writer's block at all. I'm gonna tell you four things that could actually be stopping you from writing your book. The first thing is perfectionism. Ooh, yeah. I know you probably didn't wanna hear that. I know, I get it, I get it. I am a recovering perfectionist myself. And you and I, we want to operate in excellence, right? We wanna do it as if we're doing it for the Lord, and we wanna put out something that is perfect. But guess what? Done is better than perfect. Right? And I'm not saying that it has to be full of errors or that it you know, can't be done in excellence. But what I'm saying is trying to put out the perfect book is keeping you from putting out the book at all. And that is not of God. How to overcome perfectionism? Just do it. When you write, just write. Forget about trying to self-edit yourself. Get the content out of your head onto the page and let it be what it is. Your editor will edit for you. We are in the business of taking imperfect action. The person who is going to be transformed by your book is not looking for perfection. They are looking for the answer to their prayer. They're looking for direction and inspiration. And your book could be the answer that they're waiting on. And as long as you sit there thinking it has to be perfect, you're not going to allow them the opportunity to get the transformation that they they need. They are assigned to your written voice and they need to hear it from you. So stop sitting on perfection and let that book be what it is and let the editor edit it and get it right and let the designer do what the designer does and put that book out. If all else fails and you put it out and something goes wrong, you can unpublish it and redo it again if you feel so led. But don't let perfectionism, wanting it to be perfect, putting it out in the perfect time, putting it out with the perfect long and all of the things, having the perfect author pictures. Don't let that stop you from publishing your book, especially if you know it has a right now word in it. The second thing that could be stopping you masquerading itself as writer's block is procrastination. I know. Procrastination looks like putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Procrastination is actually fear masquerading itself. A lot of times when we procrastinate, it's because we're afraid. And you will have to do some self-searching to determine what it is you're actually afraid of. But when we procrastinate, it looks like making a plan to write, and then when the time comes, we find something else to do. It looks like, and this is not, you know, life happening. This is you happening to your life, right? This is, I schedule a writing time for Saturday at 1 p.m. and Saturday at 1 p.m., guess what I'm doing? I decided I should clean the bathroom instead. The bathroom could wait. You want to clean it, of course, but it doesn't have to be done right at that time. Keep the commitment that you make to yourself when you set your writing schedule. Your, or even if it's not about writing, even if it's scheduling the book cover designer or searching out the editor, whatever it's going to take to move your book forward, I want to encourage you to drop the procrastination. And that could look like examining yourself and saying, what am I afraid of? Why do I keep putting this off? What is it? I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of success. I'm afraid to tell my story. I have a video on that, by the way. Whatever it is, examine yourself and ask God to help you overcome that fear so that you can kick procrastination to the curb. The third thing that could be masquerading itself as writer's block and keeping you from writing your book or publishing your book is lack of inspiration. Have you ever been on fire for something? Like 
you just want to do it. You're passionate about it. When was the last time you felt like that about the book that you are writing or about to release? You should be inspired. If you lack inspiration, I encourage you to revisit your why. Why are you writing this book? Who is it for? Who is it going to help and empower? How is it going to help you? What is it going to do for you and your ministry? What is it going to do for your author brand? What is it going to help you accomplish for the kingdom? Get inspired, get on fire for your book. Okay, this is going to give you the fuel that you need to sit down and get the words onto the page. Take some time to remember why you started. And if you can't seem to get on fire for it, put it down, ask God, be still and ask God if this is the project that you are supposed to be working on in this season. And make sure that you take time to listen for his voice and answer to your question. He will answer you and let you know if that's why you don't have the fire for it. Maybe you should be on fire for something else. Get your fire back, get the inspiration back. When you are passionate about this, this book, the words will flow for you. And the last thing that could be masquerading itself as writer's block and keeping you from publishing your book is lack of clarification. Meaning you don't know what to do. You don't know what to talk about. Maybe you haven't outlined your book. So you're really feeling at a loss for what to say. Maybe you just don't know any of the things you don't know why you don't know who you're writing to. Like there are so many different things that you need to be clear on when you are writing your book, when it comes to releasing the book, you need to be clear on those same things. So even if you've already written and you're just not getting out there and you're not publishing your book for whatever reason, these same things can be holding you back. It's not just for writer's block. It's any type of thing that's keeping you from writing and releasing your book. So how do we overcome this? We go and seek the answers that we need. We need to seek the wisdom. We need to ask God for the wisdom. Ask God to show us where to go to find the correct answers to the questions that we have. Ask God to provide the clarity that we need and not just sit there and wait, but actually go out and do the research and find the things and ask the questions and speak to the people in the industry or to your peers who have already uh, previously published. Ask the questions, right? Ask the questions to get the answers. YouTube, Google, talk to a self a publishing expert like myself. All of these things are things that you can do to get out of the lack of clarification. When you are clear on your purpose, when you are clear on your path, when you are clear on who you're speaking to, your writing will flow. Do not allow this to continue to hold you back. And so these are things that are, could be showing up in your life that they look like writer's block, but they're really, really something else keeping you from writing and releasing your book. I want to encourage you today to put those things aside and get that right now word out. Did any of these sound like where you are right now? If you have any questions about any of them, drop them in the comments. Let me know which one of these resonate with you and I want to hear from you. With that being said, be sure to like this video, share it with another woman in ministry that is an author or aspiring to be an author. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos on writing, self publishing, author branding, and ministry. I am Allison Denise, your author brand strategist for women in ministry, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.